the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Damn it, Polly! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Looks like a 38. Morell's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludos! Saludos! Saludo.